Johnny, I know you're ambivalent to Bitcoin, but considering the amount of research and analysis you do every week on digital assets, is now a good time to buy Bitcoin? Oh, my goodness. Uh, the honest answer is who knows? Um, some people claim gold's where you put your money. Um, interesting, Bitcoin has actually rallied from about $5,000, um, I think it was 16th of March, um, to around about sort of just over $9,000 um, towards the end of April. Um, but rather than trying to pick a time and put all your money into an asset class, what I would suggest you do is, is, is actually look at um, putting aside, say, the equivalent of a cup of coffee a day. So a cup of coffee is around about £2.50. So if you actually saved £75 a month, every single month, over the last year, you'd have saved around about £975. If you'd put the same amount of money into gold, today that's worth around about £1,200. If you put it into Bitcoin, at the moment it's worth about £1,100. So the moral here is that rather than being worried and frightened and put off by volatility, the amount of zig and zag that something like Bitcoin does in terms of going up and down, just get exposure to volatile assets by pound cost averaging. So when the price in this case of Bitcoin is high, you buy fewer Bitcoins. When the price actually falls, you'd actually buy more Bitcoins. And then over a period of time, you can get exposure to this actually asset class. So regular savings or pound cost averaging is an ideal way to have the discipline of saving money and B, making volatility work for you.